これ。mini girl with hobby hot tips and you could probably tell I'm dressed really weird do you know why because it's steampunk tutorial time and for those of you who don't know what steampunk is you can either do an internet search or look how I'm dressed it's sort of like Victorian meets mad scientist meets old west it's such a fun look and this is perfect for those people that play war machine Malifaux Actually, any game. It's such a neat look, you'll want to put it on your bases, I promise. So, let's get all mad sciencey in here and get started. Much of the steampunk look is gears, so if you can go to your craft store and look in the jewelry section, you can find watch parts or even music box parts. You can find them online as well. I do recommend washing them, giving them a quick little rinse with a little bit of dish soap before you start um, using them on your base and let them dry. And while it's drying, figure out where your model piece is going to be going onto the base. Next I'm going to choose from my texture foam pack that I got this particular texture. I'm going to measure it out with my circle cutter and cut myself a piece that actually fits my base. If you don't have a circle cutter, you can do it the old fashioned way. Get out your circle template, measure your base, draw out the circle, and cut it out manually. I need two circles. I'm going to cut them a little bit off center. Glue them down with just regular white PVA glue. And make sure I get glue inside the cracks because I'm going to be sanding it in between there. And now I'm going to take my little piece and poke holes where I want him to go, kind of like marking him. Then I'm going to take black paint, water it down with probably, I'd say two parts water, one part black paint, do the whole base of that. And now I'm going to dry brush using this bronze color just on one side, making sure not to get inside the crevices or the grooves. I want to maintain that look and I'm going against the grain, so to speak. Now I'm going to highlight with this bronze just in the middle section and uh, on the other side I want to do that side a gold color. I want it to be different than the other side. This is part of the steampunk look, just different colors. And I'm going to highlight just in the middle section on that side with gold. Now I want to give it sort of like that patina look and I'm going to use green to do that and I'm doing just the edges a little bit in the middle. I don't want to go too much and have overkill because then I'll lose my highlights. So I'm doing this. Now I'm going to take my brown, dry brush all the sanded areas of the brown color and this will complete it and then make sure to paint the edges black if you were kind of sloppy with your work. You want to make sure it's nice and cleaned up. I'm just checking to make sure he still fits. Now with the watch pieces, I'm using PVA white glue to glue down the larger parts and I'm going to connect all the larger parts together so it looks like all these little gears and moving pieces are one piece and they're all together connected as you'll see as you go along in the tutorial you'll see that I'm using super glue to, to glue the smaller pieces in place and I'm using a little toothpick to do that just to dab only in the places that I need it because if you use the super glue tube itself then it globs on and it takes forever for the little pieces to actually stay. Now I want a spring to put onto my post so I'm just taking it from a pen and cutting it in half with my nippers and um, I'm just going to glue it on there but I want it to kind of look like it's broken so it's going to be a little bit crooked and off center as you'll see. I found that it's much easier to use little tweezers when I'm working with these very tiny little watch parts. So that's what worked for me. And I'm just super gluing these final little pieces. Now I'm going to use blue just in the middle section of dry brushing to give it sort of a glow look, like almost like my miniature is glowing. 
I'm using Armor Wash to kind of dirty up the pieces now. And the reason why I washed all the pieces to begin with in the very beginning of the tutorial is because I wanted my paint to stick. But now I wanted to dirty them up with the Armor Wash. Here's another way you can do a base. It's a very simple base if you don't want to do the more intricate one that we just saw. It's just a couple pieces literally glued down with white glue and super glue. One of those little foam texture pieces. The base is painted silver. And now I'm dry brushing with that blue again to give it that glow effect. I'm then going to use that armor wash or just any black wash is fine to dirty up the base again giving it that steampunk look. And as you'll see in the next scene I've added a little screw, a little watch screw that I've super glued down. Now if doing this is still too much work for you, here's an even easier way to do a steampunk base. Ready for this? You just paint your base bronze, pick out maybe four or five little gears or parts from an old watch that you might have lying around, super glue them down, get the watch, the guts of the watch, and literally just get white glue and glue it down. I'm putting a little bit of that blue color again, um, diluted down with some water, and I'm gonna do the armor wash again to kind of dirty up my piece again. And again, make sure your, all your pieces are washed with dish soap and dried before you do this so that the paint will stick. And I'm doing armor wash to dirty up the pieces again, but dirtying it up using paint. So here's the final piece, the very first piece that we did. And here it is complete with the Signar. And I think it looks beautiful. Here's the second piece. It's a little bit easier to do. It was really fast. This one went quick and this one was like in minutes. So you can get a lot of pieces done. Those steampunk parts um, usually you can find in the jewelry section or look online on Amazon or eBay or something and you can find steampunk parts. So thanks for watching my crazy steampunk video and I'll see you on the next tutorial. So farewell.